Hi, this is Clinton, inviting you to listen to my show, Comedy Forecast, during Friday Follies, right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Bat Free originally released November 21st, 2019. Hi, I'm John Bell. Welcome to Bells in the Bat Free. My regular listeners know that some months ago I had an eye operation, and because of that, I have to wear a contact lens in my right eye. Okay, I don't have to wear it. It's just sort of a, if I want to see anything with my right eye, I need to put it in. And when I put it in, I don't see great. I see a little better. And a little better from really bad isn't a whole lot. But anyway, being a first-time contact lens wearer, I have discovered something very, very interesting that perhaps all you contact lens wearers already know. And that is, my contact lens is apparently sentient. It plans escapes. It hides from me. I mean, this is the only possible explanation for what happens to my contacts. I will pull one out of the little case thing, and it's gone. Or I'll take one out of my eye, and it's gone. Or I'll just be standing there and it's gone. Now, I suspect it just leaps away, and being almost invisible can get away. So, in my recording booth right now, I've got the door closed, and I've got all the lights on so I can see really, really well, and I'm going to take this lens out of the case, and I'm going to... There it goes. Wait, wait. It's over this way. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's under the desk. Come back here, you! Don't... I don't want to stomp it. Uh, wait, 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 I'll just get it. I got it in the corner. I got it cornered. I got it cornered. Uh, uh, fighting me. Get, where you get back in the case. Uh. <sighs> well, I knew it. I knew it. Yes, 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 yes. What is it, Arnie? Could you come to my office, please? All right, let's go. No, 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 not now. Okay, when? Count you 37, but slowly. Oh, you mean like one Mississippi, two Mississippi? No, 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 more like one anti-disestablishmentarianism, two supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Okay, 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 I get the idea. Why don't I just set my timer for five minutes? Does that work? I don't know. It's not my timer. What? No. If it doesn't work, you ought to take it back to where you got it. Uh, what I meant was... Is it a new timer or an old timer? <laughs> or did you buy it from an old timer? It's on my phone. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. You go ahead and talk to the old timer. No, not the old timer. The timer timer. What is that? Bad poetry? You trying to be an old timer rhymer? <laughs> We've gotten completely off the rails here. Look, I'll wait five minutes, then come to your office. Is that okay? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, do you need a timer? No. I can lose your mind. No, just go. And just for the record, there's no old-timer rhymer better than Miss Schmackelheimer. Hee <laughs> bye. <sighs> All right. One, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Two, super... <sighs> Let me put the timer on on my phone. All righty, Arnie, what is it you wanted to show me? What have you done to your office? This is no longer my office, Mr. Bell. This is my place of business. Business? Yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What business is it, Arnie? This is the new home of Fish and Chips. Fish and Chips? You're opening a British restaurant? No. A pub? It's no pub, bub. It's where I repair smart devices. You repair smart devices. Ding, ding, ding. You got that one right. Then why do you call it fish and chips? It's not fish and chips, Mr. Bell. It's fish and chips. Still here in fish and chips. Vision. Fish and... V-I-S-I-O-N. Oh, vision chips. Yes. Why would you call it vision chips? Because smart devices all have a screen, right? Uh-huh. So that is the vision. You see, you can see it. Uh, so it's, a, right. it's vision. Uh-huh. And then chips because... Because all smart devices have computer chips in them. Say, I hadn't thought of that. You hadn't? No, I was going to sell potato chips on this side, but I like your idea better. Okay, well, thanks. But how are you going to do this, Arnie? We're in the sub-basement of the Mutual Audio Network building. To get here, you have to go through the lobby, past security, 
get in a clunky old elevator, come down here, go down the hall and get to your office. How can you have business traffic with all that? Wow, you've never been such a stickler for continuity, Miss Bell. Yeah, well, the question remains... Well, I made my own entrance. Your own entrance? Yeah, I busted out a door on the wall over there and dug some steps going directly up to the back of the building. Did you get permission from the building owners to do that? Well, I thought it's better to ask forgiveness than get permission. Or risk a lawsuit. Did someone say lawsuit? No, Brad, no. No lawsuit here. Yet. Okay. How does he do that? Maybe he's got the building bug. I can call you exterminator. Did you call me? Exterminator, not terminator. I'll be back. So, Arnie, are you open for business? I certainly am. All that's left is for me to advertise. You haven't advertised yet? No, but I'm going to right now. Let me get on Facebook and Arnie's Vision Ships is now open. There. Uh, Arnie, you're going to have to do more than just post it on Facebook. You're going to have to... Hello there, you together fixes all these telephony things with the screens on it. Yes, sir. How can I help you, sir? I don't usually ask for help. You know, I'm a manly man. I'm uh-huh. a cowboy. Yeah. I herd cattle. I ride broncos. I get in bar fights and I yell, yeehaw, a lot. Okay, well, uh, what can I do for you? This here thing on my phone, which is called a gap, a snap, a blap. App. Yeah, yeah, an app. It ain't working right. Can you fix it? Oh, well, what's wrong with it? Well, look, look, see, I took a picture of myself here, and there's the picture. Now, I'm trying to make myself look like a cute little kitten, you see, but the ears don't always follow me. Sometimes they just kind of hang for a second or two. Can you fix that? Sure, you want to look like a kitten? Yeah, a kitten that herds cattle, rides broncos, gets in bar fights, and yells, hee Oh, a lot. Okay, well, I think the problem is is that you're confusing the uh, program. Confusing it, eh? You probably need to take a cowboy hat off. Take my cowboy hat off? What are you, some kind of commie Yankee, ordinary liberal pinko? Well, I'm not a kitten. All right, all right. Let me take my hat off here and we look at that. Oh, look at that. The ears are following me around. Look at them cute little whiskers. Mew, mew, mew. <laughs> Wait till the boys at the bar see this. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye-bye. Well, Arnie, you had your first customer there. Yeah, and I had to do it pro bono. Did somebody say pro bono? Yes, Brad. Well, quit cussing. I'm very sensitive, you know. Mr. Bell, why don't you sit over there in the corner and watch? This is going to be a very busy day. Are you sure? I think you just kind of lucked up with the... I'll just sit in the corner here. What can I do for you, sir? My computer's been acting kind of slow. I thought you might like to look at it. Certainly. Let's see it. Here it is. Oh, my goodness. How old is this computer? Uh, I'd say it's about five or six years old, maybe. Ooh, I should call the Smithsonian. You sure you want to salvage this thing? Well, it's a sentimental thing. It's been in the family for, well, five or six years now. All right, let's open it up and take a look. Hmm. You think it's blown a vacuum tube? No, they're still glowing. Let me make sure these cogs and gears are still functioning. I just oiled them the other day. Let me look at the motherboard here. Oh, I think I found your problem. Oh, what is it? I got sad news, sir. Uh oh. The hamster has passed away. Oh no. Look at him in that little wheel there, his little paw is sticking out. Oh well he worked hard for all these years. Um do you have any hamsters? No, but I got a lot of chips. You can kinda of spread them out in the yard, maybe the hamsters will come and try to eat them. You can jump on them. Yeah, I can give that a shot. By the way, do you happen to have a boat? Yeah, I got me a fishing boat. Why? In my opinion? Yeah. You got a new Anchor here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Thank you, Sonny. I appreciate it. Uh, let me get the door for you here, sir. Uh, thank you, Bob. You want me to help you carry that to the car? No, that's not necessary. Hey, Marty, back up the forklift. Excuse me, sir. Oh, my goodness. He was in quite a hurry, wasn't he? Uh, hello there. Uh, I need some help, please. Certainly. How can I be of a... <laughs> How's that again? How can I be of a... <laughs> Huh? How can I help you? Oh, well, I have a problem that started with my computer. Tell me your tale of woe. Well, I started getting emails, all sorts of emails, lots and lots of emails trying to sell me coffee makers, tires, pottery, bracelets, hover rounds, really sticky tape, pillows, diamond rings, cookware, lotions, hair in a can, cereal, computers, gizmos, thingamajigs, and stuff I have no idea what they are. 
Well, you're certainly not alone in that. But what is your problem? Well, my problem is one of storage. I mean, I get so many of these emails, I just don't have enough space. Well, the solution here is simple. Just delete all the emails, then go to your recycle bin and delete permanently. Oh, no, 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 no. The problem is not the emails. Oh? The problem is all the stuff that I purchased. I just don't have room for all the coffee makers, tires, pottery, bracelets, hover rounds, yes. mini sticky tape, pillows, yes. diamond rings, cookware, the... lotion, hair, and cream, cereals, yes, computers, I... gizmos, thingamajigs, uh, and this stuff I have no idea what they are. They're kind of scary. Well, I have two possible solutions for your problem. One, build a big storage shed in your backyard, and two, a nice big bonfire. Well, I could have a yard sale. You bought a yard online? Wow, how did they deliver that? In a really big truck. Well, thank you, sir, for your assistance. I briefly made it. What? I briefly made it. Come again? I'm happy you helped. Goodbye, sir. So long. Farewell. Yeah, bye. Hey, would you like to buy some things that I don't know what they are? No. That's what I thought. Okay, goodbye. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Uh, do you happen to have any of those things you don't know what they are on you? Well, yes, I think I may have a few of them in my trunk. Let's go to your car. Alrighty. I must say, Arnie, you're doing a bang-up business here. Yeah. I only got somebody to pay me for my services. <laughs> excuse me. I would like to pay you for your services, please. Huh? Give me, dog. How can I help you? I have an app on my tablet which is supposed to control a certain satellite that's circling the Earth. But I seem to have lost control of it for some reason. I must get control of it back again. <laughs> oh, what kind of satellite is this? It's a satellite of my own design. It has an extremely focused laser. I don't know if I should help you with this. Uh, what is this laser supposed to do? When I fire it, it disables all smart tablets and phones within a hundred mile radius. <laughs> Let's take a look at that sucker and get it working here. Yes, there it is. It's the app with the little skull on it. Isn't Ooh. it pretty? I designed that myself. Oh, yes, very nice. All right, let me see what I can do about getting into the protocol of the... Excuse me, I gotta answer the phone. All these darn clients get in the way of my business. Hello, vegan chips. Hello, hello. Uh, yeah, I've got a problem with my self-driving car. Ooh, self-driving car sounds like a challenge. Oh, good, because I've uh, sent it over to you. It should be there in just a minute or two. Oh, that's pretty cool. I hope you can uh, fix the problem that I've got with it. And what exactly is the problem? Um, it's, it's got, got no, no brakes. My latest business venture was a little less than successful. As, As usual. usual. Mm -hmm. The next time I'm going to make sure that I... That I... Mm. Mr. Bell, what are you doing over there? I'm trying to get this contact out of my eye, and it's not cooperating. Oh, my. Mm. Ah. You need a pair of pliers or anything? No, 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 no. I should be able to just pinch it and pull it out. So I'm pinching it now, and there it goes. It's, it's going that way. Do you see it? No. Can you stop it? No. Lenny, Lenny, come back here. Wait a minute. Lenny, have you named the contact lens? I figure if it's smart enough to get away, it's smart enough to have a name. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Calm down, Monsieur Bell. I think Lenny the lens is gone. You're right, Arnie. I think, like his predecessors, I'll never see him again. Well, wherever he is, and wherever he's going, I wish him the best. And so it came to pass. Lonely little Lenny Len set out into the big, wide world to find a place where he could belong. He searched high and low, to and fro, hither and yon from dusk till dawn. Then... One day, he came across a magical land filled with lost halves of pears. Wait, wait. He found fruit? No, no pears. Yeah? As in sets of two. See my fingers? Oh, one, two, I see. Okay. <sharp inhale> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Go on, just yes. proceed. When somebody loses half of a pear, this is where the sad singles come to stay. Like one earring, one mitten, one sock, one Twinkie.
Twinkie? Well, you, well, you're telling me that you, you've never lost a Twinkie? No. You've never lost a Twinkie, no. I don't think anybody in the history of the universe has lost a Twinkie. Okay, well, would you like to tell this story? Because no. you obviously have no. a... No, 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 no. Right. Well, then clam up and let me just get this over with, please. Thank right. you very much. Yeah, fine. Just <clears throat> go right ahead. <clears throat> Lenny, the lonely Len, wandered through the land of singles, meeting mittens, hearing, earrings, saluting socks, and generally avoiding the Twinkies because, well, because they had become quite stale. No one loses Twinkies. With all his new friends, Lenny was no longer lonely. <laughs> he married a nice Argyle compression sock and before long, they had twins. Two tiny baby socks. Oh, if only they knew where one of them went off to. The end. Can I go now, please, Jim? Because this this was the most ridiculous story well, I've ever ever really had the, the misfortune well, to to narrate. Uh, I have bad. to I, say that um, you know, I mean, I, I I didn't train at the uh, Bell School of Bellness for for this, did, did I? I mean, I just can't um, believe my time. I obviously it's uh, no, uh, people no. are fed up of me now, and and this is this is what I get. And it was fun for us, too. That was Sarah Golding, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm. You've been listening to Bells of the Bat Free, number 234. Copyright 2019 by John Bell Creative, LLC. And thanks for my special guests, Linny the Contact Lens, who played himself. Hello, yeah. And, of course, Sarah Golding. Uh, for a job where I can use my normal voice... Governments throughout the world have been working around the clock to get more information about just how this event that we call the incident actually occurred. We're all just trying to have a nice family. Whoa! Whoa. What, what was that? We recently discovered evidence that all of this, the incident, the pulse, word nesia, was from a shadowy group that calls itself... Cipher. We must maintain our power at all costs! The crisis is real. There's only one demographic who've remained unaffected. Who? Kids. Ah! All right, let's see what this baby can do! They're stealing the whole dark castle! Don't. But Kobos, we're gonna die! It's frozen! I... Wordastic, season one, available now.